Hey kids, did you know a few days ago we celebrated an anniversary? No? What? Well, it was the 30 year anniversary of Kyle Rittenhouse taking out the trash during the wonderful 2020 Summer of Love. <laughs> well, it turns out that trash is suing him. What? Again. What? Shocker. I'm Jazz Borgonzo and this. <laughs> you serious? Is what's next. Happy Wednesday, y'all. Jazz Gonzo, what's next? Your daily dose. Ah. Hey, kids. Did you know there was an anniversary a few days ago? No? Well, turns out that it's the 30 year anniversary of legend Kyle Rittenhouse taking out the trash back in 2020 during the wonderful summer of love. Well, it turns out that the trash's family is suing him again just because what a shocker and of course kyle rittenhouse takes it all in stride because he's like y'all want to come sue me come and get some and here we go this comes out of the blaze kyle rittenhouse sued by the estate there's an estate of the convicted child molester he blew away in self-defense yes and of course that's kyle Kyle Rittenhouse shot three attackers who mobbed him during a leftist riot, yes, in Kenosha, Wisconsin, August 25th, 2020. Two of them, three, are no more. Yes, they were ended. He was cleared of all charges in 21. Despite being found not guilty by a jury of his peers, Rittenhouse has since had to fight various efforts to paint him as a villain and to punish him for defending himself. Yes, one of the most high-profile court cases in history, not since OJ has a case blew up the way it did, yeah, he's still getting picked on. The most recent attempt comes from the form of a civil lawsuit filed by the convicted child molester Joseph Rosenbaum's in State Friday in U.S. District Court for Eastern District of Wisconsin. Texas Scorecard reported that the suits named Rittenhouse are defended along with the local sheriff's departments, Kenosha officials, City of Kenosha, City of West Ellis, various counties, demanding compensatory, compensatory, excuse me, and punitive damages for the wrongful death of Rosenbaum. <laughs> Sorry. The Washington Post noted that Rosenbaum spent most of his adult life in prison while playing the pedo cards. Again, shocker. It appears that life on the outside was marked by rage and ruthlessness. Ruthlessness, excuse me. For instance, one month prior to his demise, Rosenbaum's fiance's Karen Stewart pressed charges against him for domestic abuse. Again, what? Just hours before catching four bullets, uh, the homeless and bipolar 36-year-old had been released from the hospital following a suicide attempt. Again, I'm totally shocked. This guy was... <laughs> I, 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 mm. Fresh out of the hospital, Rosenbaum joined the destructive riots and kicked off in a response to a non-fatal police shooting of Jacob Blake, whose state prosecutors indicated that he had, been wanted, uh, he had been wanted on a felony warrant and was armed with a knife. Rittenhouse's lawyers claimed that during the murder trial that Rosenbaum attempted to engage the youth, at which point Rittenhouse attempted to flee. Rosenbaum gave chase, threw a sack of belongings at him, then, according to witness testimony, attempted to disarm the 17-year-old by force. Footage of the incident shows that it was only when the 17-year-old appeared, cornered in the car lot, did he open fire. In addition to claiming uh, Rosenbaum was a peaceful protester, yes, those summer of love, uh, was not a danger to himself or others. The Rosenbaum estate cast Rittenhouse in the law uh, lawsuit as a menace who fired his assault rifle indiscriminately. Yes, firing. He was like this. He was like spraying all over the place. Um, <clears throat> uh, firing his uh, assault rifle indiscriminately multiple times despite the 17-year-old's documented restraint and sure aim. While Rosenbaum can be seen on film chasing down the boy, the suit alleges that there was no justification for a defendant Rittenhouse to point his weapon at the innocent Joseph Rosenbaum. On Twitter, Rittenhouse wrote, I'm being sued again for defending my life. Rittenhouse, now 20, living in Texas, uh, told Texas Scorecard, these lawsuits are making it harder and harder for me to move on with my life. It is extremely difficult to go outside without the fear of being harassed or assaulted because of the lies spread of these lawsuits, continued Rittenhouse. No one should have ever, uh, no one should have to continue to defend the fact, <clears throat> excuse me, that they acted in self-defense.
One, again, I tip my hat at you, sir, Mr. Kyle Rittenhouse, for taking out the trash. For the family that is suing him in a civil lawsuit to defend Rosenbaum, a child molester, graduating from the school of pedoism, a domestic abuser, a piece of shit, to paint Rittenhouse as the bad guy in all of this, when the video, testimonies, eyewitnesses, court hearings, documents, prove, ultimately, he was using his Second Amendment rights, defending his life in a situation where he knew that the shit could hit the fan. And it did. So, he took out two of the three. Yes, you know, it's a, it's, it's a shame that Rosenbaugh fell on four bullets, you know, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, and, uh, uh, oh well. But, in my opinion, that any judge should dismiss this the second it hits his desk. The second he looks at this file and goes, yeah, that's it. That's it. And more than likely, this case will be dismissed. This case will be thrown out. Why? Because of the trial. Because of the result of the trial. Because of the innocence of the man. But yet, Kyle Rittenhouse is correct. He keeps getting, he keeps getting hit with shit like this and cannot live his life. Now, understood is that being in one of the most high-profile court cases in easily the last 50 years, he's always going to be known. But funny how that they keep on picking on Kyle, but yet, where are the arrests of Black Lives Matter and Antifa who started this shit because of the mysterious death of one St. George Kirby and one bow your heads, you know? Where are their lawsuits? Where are the families who were thrown out of their houses? The corporations who were, whose stores were looted and, and burned? The towns and counties whose police stations were demolished and destroyed? Where are their lawsuits against them? Silence. Three years later, silence. But yet, they still keep on picking on Kyle. Good for you, Kyle. Way to take out the trash. Happy anniversary. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. Hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.